I beg you to stop into my presence with your swinging sword of divine power and help me now through your magnificence and intercede with no hesitation, bringing your saving's glory and rescue me. Prove to the evil that is against me that you are in control. In Jesus' name, Amen. Good morning. Happy New Day. Happy Thursday, June 22, 2023. This is Love World, taking you open heaven, a guide to close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Alleluia. 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 Alleluia is an heavenly language. Alleluia song will never say so I'm out in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is when God step in. When God step in. I may we flash and we find the book of Psalm 62, verse 7. I read. In God is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my revenge is in God. When God step into the situation of a man, we call it divine encounter. A divine encounter is a situation whereby a collision between God, which is supernatural power and human being, with their helplessness. In Luke 7, 11, verse 15, a widow on her way to bury her holy son met Jesus. A woes present is fullness of joy. Psalm 16, verse 11. The result was a collision that caused joy to swallow up sorrow. The widow, sorrow ended, and she returned home rejoicing. The Almighty God is going to collide with you today, and you will experience a great transformation in Jesus' name. During one of our programs, some years ago, the Lord gave me a revelation for someone that is in meeting and I announced. The Lord said, there is someone here who should have been married, but the mother said she will not get married. If the mother does not repent, she will be dead within a week. The lady that was marriageable age believed the word was for her and she went home to tell her mother the next day. The mother furious came with her to see me, saying, My daughter came and informed me that to say I will die within a week. I told her exactly what God said, explaining that I had not mentioned any name. After this, she asked the girl to leave the office, then turned to me. It is not that I don't want her to marry, it's just that she is the one taking care of me. When she marries, there will be no one to take care of me. I reply, that is not a problem. I will talk to the husband and they will continue to take care of you. The mother then say, in that case, she can marry. Six months later, the daughter was married. In our Bible for today, we saw how God stepped into the situation of the Israelites and brought doom upon the Egyptians. They tell us that we must be careful when dealing with children of God because Jesus can decide to step in into the situation at any time. When he decided to step into a situation, you are better be sure that you are on his side if you surrender in willingly to him. Then he will collide with all the forces against you. But if you are not on his side, a collision with him will bring about a negative result like it did for the Egyptian. Brother, I want us to read the book of Exodus 14 verse 9 to 28 and our Bible in one year, Psalm 95 verse 103. Our hymn is M9, immortal, invisible God, holy wise. Immortal, invisible God, 
holy eyes. Our prayer point for today, Father, please step into my situation and collide with any force opposing me in Jesus' name. Father, please step into my situation and collide with any force opposing me in Jesus' name. And I pray everyone will step in into all situations you have in Jesus' name. Amen. Brother, this is Love World. Till I come your way tomorrow, don't forget, subscribe, like, and share. And the goodness of God will never leave your life. Have a nice day and bye for now. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.